today I'm flipping thrifted items to make neutral winter home decor. So here we go. The first item I'm starting with is this baby cable knit sweater with a large stain on the front, but the cable knit is in great shape. I got this at the Goodwill outlet bins for under a dollar. I'm also using some candles from my stash, some of which are partially burned, but that's okay. That won't matter for today's project. So the first thing that I did was to go ahead and cut off one of the sleeves of the sweater. I wanted to slip the sleeve over the candle, but I quickly realized that this candle was too wide. So I pulled a more narrow candle out from my stash. I found this candle at the Goodwill for $2.99. And so I just used the sweater and slipped that over the narrow candle instead. Then I took my scissor and trimmed around the bottom of the candle. And then I used my hot glue to tack the sweater sleeve to the bottom of the candle. Now, if you want this to be more permanent, you could use a more permanent glue, but I do want the option of taking this off when the season is over. If I want to put this candle into a spring display, then I can easily just slip it off because the glue will come off easily off the glass. And then I can save the sweater sleeve for next year if I wanted to. So I just wanted to keep my options open. And then once it was tacked well to the bottom of the candle, I flipped it over and I got my twine and I just cut a length of twine so that I could tie a little twine bow around it and that was it. And I did cut enough twine to be able to wrap it around, I think it was like three times. I just like the look of multiple strands of twine wrapped around it, but that's sort of just a design choice. And here's what the first one looked like. For the second candle, I thought it would be really cute to include the zipper, so I just zipped the zipper up. I viewed the zipper as the center and then measured how much cable knit I would need to cover all the way around the back of the candle, and then I trimmed it there. I also had to trim it to the correct length, and if you decide to try this project, I used the elasticy parts of the sweater, so the cuffs or the bottom uh, waist of the sweater as the top for my candles. This way my candles looked nice and neat and I didn't have to have any you know, cut edges at the top of the candle. So that's what I recommend doing and that's what I was doing here. So I was going to kind of flip my zipper and so the, top, the bottom of the zipper is actually at the top of the candle, but you can't tell. And you can see here, this sweater actually has like a little gray sweatshirt lining, which I also had to remove. I did the same thing and I just tacked it to the glass. And again, I didn't use a ton of glue, so I definitely still can take this off, but I did need to use more glue than on the one that was made from the sleeve, just cause you know, it, I had to tack it to the candle. This video is part of the Flippin' Friday collaboration hosted by Jamie from Border Bananas. I'll link her channel as well as a playlist with other creators' videos in my description box below. And if you're liking my channel, I would love it if you'd go ahead and subscribe. That would help me out a great deal. I decided to do one more from the hood of the baby sweater. So you can see here I removed the hood and it was definitely like a good enough length to cover the whole candle. So I just removed the liner of the hood and then kind of did the same thing. And you can see here, the hood has a really nice trim around it. So that's why I was able to use the hood because that would be then the top of this candle. And here's what my three candles looked like when I was finished. I love them. I added a little wooden snowflake from the Dollar Tree to one of them. And I just have them sitting here on this little silver tray, but I think these are going to make a great display once the Christmas season is over and I need winter decor. For my next project, I started with this candle lid and this sweater scrap. This scrap had a nice cable down the center, so I thought it would be pretty for what I was doing next. And I started by taking my hot glue and just securing that piece of sweater really well to the candle lid.
and then I took my scissor and I trimmed really closely to the edge of the candle lid. So I was basically using the candle lid as my guide. So the bottom of my scissor, which you can't really see, is actually like pressed against the candle lid so that I could get a really good close cut. I added a little hot glue around the edges just to make sure that, that, that the edges were really well secured. I got a little canning jar from my kitchen and I just filled it with this fake snow. I buy this stuff and we sprinkle it in our little Christmas village, our Department 56 village. I think they have it at Michael's. I got mine online on Amazon. And then I added a little battery operated tea light. I found a box of 10 of these at the Goodwill Outlet Bins. And I think I paid like, I don't even know, maybe a quarter for them. And then I took more of my twine. And again, I just made it a length so that I could wrap it several times, as well as this little mitten. This had been a red mitten that just said winter. I think it was part of a pair, but I no longer had the pair and I didn't want to use red. So I just painted it like a silvery gray and then I wanted to use it to embellish this little canning jar. So I just glued a piece of twine to the back of the mitten and then I used that twine to tie it to the twine that was wrapped around the mouth of the jar and I did kind of glue it in place as well and then I added a little bow and this is what it looked like. And off camera I wrote the words comfy cozy winter with my own handwriting and I think this is gonna be a great part of a little vignette. And for my last set of projects, I'm going to be using more of my sweater as well as some frames from my stash. And then I also have this Dollar Tree ornament and I think I used a wooden, another wooden Dollar Tree uh, snowflake sticker. So what I did for this was to just cut a piece of sweater that would fit into the frame opening. And there's this really pretty knit on the back of the sweater. You can see it's like multiple cables kind of wrapping together. So I really wanted to get that into the frame. So I made sure to cut it so that that would fit into the frame. And for this project, I actually didn't want the elastic -y waistband of the sweater, so I cut that part off. I used hot glue to attach the sweater piece to the backing of the frame. And I was trying to be careful not to cut too close because this frame didn't have like a lot of um, give. Like if I cut it too short or something, it would show you know, through the glass. So I really wanted to make sure that I left a little bit of a margin for error <laughs> around the edge in case I needed to shift the sweater or whatever the case would be. I figured out where I wanted my little tree ornament to hang because that was going to go on the other side of the glass. And so I just laid my frame down and then kind of made a sandwich. So I laid my ornament down and then I glued my glass in so that it would kind of hold the ornament in place. And then I glued my frame backing in. And you know, I usually like to make the backs of my projects look nice, but I couldn't. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I could cover it with like paper or something, but the back of this project does not look nice, but the front of it looks great. So I'm just going to make sure I display it in a place where you can't see the back. If any of you has any good ideas on how to easily make the back of this look nice, you can let me know. The only thing I could think of is like covering it with paper, but then that's sort of a problem because I have the photo frame stand that would get in the way. But here's the finished product. I'll show a close up in a minute. Then I pulled out this little frame 
so that I can make a second one to go with it. I got this frame for free at a free sale during the pandemic when everyone was cleaning out but no one could bring anything anywhere. <laughs> and then I used another one of those wooden stickers. And so here I'm just trying to figure out which part of the what's left of the sweater will fit into this little square frame. It's not very big, it's probably like two and a half inches square, I would guess. So I did find a piece to use. And this frame went much smoother than the first one because this frame had a little bit bigger gap between the glass and the backing of the photo frame. So there was more room for that little piece of sweater to fit in there. And so there was more room to get the little door closed. So it wasn't as much a struggle. So the back of this one looks really nice. This does not look ugly like the other one. <laughs> And I just used my scissor to trim it to the right size. And then the only thing with this was to just make sure that it was, you know, straight up and down. I wanted to make sure that it wasn't twisting or anything. And because it fits so well, I didn't even glue this one in place. I just kind of held it in place with the frame and that little clip that's on the back of the picture frame. I did wind up putting a dot of hot glue over that little clip just to make sure it stays in place. And then I was going to just glue my little wooden snowflake on, but I didn't like the wood color with the tone of the frame. So I just took a little of my silvery paint and did a very light, almost like a dry brush on the snowflake. So it almost looks like it's stained, like you can still see the wood grain through it. And I just used a dot of hot glue to attach that to the glass. And again, so if I decide I want to use this frame for something else, I can always take it apart. I really like the way this one turned out though. I don't think I'll take this one apart. This one and the black one frame, I think I'll just keep together because I really like them. They're just kind of different, you know? So anyway, this is my finished product and now I'll show the two of them together. So here is what my two little frames look like. Now this one doesn't have a stand, so I put it on a stand that I have. I actually think one of the Dollar Tree picture stands will fit it a little better, but I didn't have one of those right now. And here's the black one. I love it. I love being able to see the cable knit. I just think it's really pretty and just a different way to use a sweater. And I think it looks really nice with the little jar on the coaster. It just makes for a nice little vignette. These aren't staying here right now because right now I have my Christmas decor on my mantle, but I will put them in somewhere in this room, my family room, once the Christmas season's over. And here are what all of my neutral winter thrift flips from today look like together. I think they're great. They're going to make for a really nice vignette. I hope this has given you some ideas of how you can use those stained cable knit sweaters. If you have a sweater that's pretty, you don't know what to do with it, maybe try something like this. And until my next video, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Jamie's channel as well as the playlist linked in my description box. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time.